On July 23rd of this year, visitors at Yellowstone National Park were greeted by a terrifying scene. They witnessed a sudden hydrothermal explosion which flung steam, rock and mud tens of feet into the air, with the incident creating widespread panic as the guests ran for safety. This small explosion, and others like it over recent years, have created concerns that the supervolcano at Yellowstone may be roaring back into life. That could mean horrifying news for humanity, as an eruption at Yellowstone might be the most destructive phenomenon humans have ever witnessed, and could mean the end of civilization as we know it. We take a deep dive into the danger that Yellowstone poses, discuss the chances of an impending super eruption and the potential impact of such an eruption on this week's episode of Stranger Than Fiction. Yellowstone National Park is situated in western United States, largely in the northwest corner of Wyoming and extending into Montana and Idaho. Its scenic beauty is awe-inspiring, with the area boasting sprawling forest cover, unique wildlife and eye-catching geothermal features. That is why the park attracts an average of 4 million tourists per year. However, scientists have now known for a while that below this layer of scenic beauty, Yellowstone hides a horrifying secret. The place is home to one of the very few supervolcanoes in the world, which has a history of unimaginably large eruptions that have repeatedly altered the course of our whole planet. And the really scary part is that we might be due one now. So what are supervolcanoes? A supervolcano has an eruption with a volcanic explosivity index of eight, the largest recorded value on the index. When they erupt, they eject more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of debris into the air, not only decimating everything for hundreds of miles, but also sending temperatures around the globe plummeting for many years, causing unthinkable devastation. The volcanic explosivity index is much like the Richter scale used to measure earthquakes, with each subsequent unit representing an explosion 10 times stronger than the previous one. In other words, an explosivity index of 5 represents an explosion 10 times stronger than an explosivity index of 4. The famous Mount Vesuvius explosion in 79 AD, which completely destroyed Pompeii and Herculaneum, had a magnitude of 5 in the VEI, the same as the devastating Mount St. Helens eruption in 1980. The 1991 eruption of Pinatubo in the Philippines, which was one of the largest in living memory, sending ash and debris 35 kilometers into the air, ranked just six on the VEI. That means a super eruption of Yellowstone would be 100 times as powerful as Pinatubo and a whopping 1,000 times more powerful than both Mount St. Helens and Mount Vesuvius, which just boggles the mind. A magnitude 8 eruption is almost unimaginable to humans as no one has seen a supervolcano erupt for many generations. In fact, the most recent super eruption was that of New Zealand's Taupo volcano, which occurred around 26,500 years ago. That explosion was so powerful that the fragmented material from that eruption covered much of New Zealand's North Island with deposits of up to 200 metres or 660 feet. The super eruption of Lake Toba in Indonesia, which happened 74,000 years ago, was even more deadly, with many believing it to be the largest eruption on Earth in the last 25 million years. Some scientists even think that the eruption almost wiped humanity off the face of the Earth killing most of the humans living on the planet at the time and reducing the population of the planet to just a few thousand individuals. While this theory has been disputed by others, there is no doubt about the humongous scale of this event, with ash deposits from the Toba eruptions discovered as far away as Lake Malawi in East Africa. So, you might now be wondering why supervolcano eruptions are so much more powerful than regular volcanoes. The answer to that question lies in their structure below the surface. In a typical volcano, before an eruption, molten rock, called magma, collects in a chamber below the surface and pressure builds until the magma eventually erupts through the crater as lava. In a supervolcano, however, 
the ground over a large area around the chamber collapses, forming a depression on the surface known as a caldera. This acts as a seal, allowing magma to build up across a much larger magma chamber than an average volcano, with the pressure continuing to build for hundreds of thousands of years. Eventually, the pressure reaches a critical mass before it explodes, making a massive hole in the Earth's crust. The caldera of a supervolcano tends to be so big that they are sometimes only visible from the air, and that is exactly the case with Yellowstone, with the volcano's caldera measuring an unbelievable 43 miles long and 28 miles wide, or 70 kilometers by 45 kilometers. Recently, scientists have studied the volcano closely and mapped its underground plumbing, and the scale of it is quite shocking. Right beneath the caldera, which was created during its last eruption 640,000 years ago, sits an enormous magma chamber and it is fed by an even more gigantic plume of magma stretching down over 400 miles deep. Viewer discretion is advised as we go into the next part of this video, where we discuss the kind of widespread obliteration that will be caused if Yellowstone erupts with a super eruption. If such an eruption were to occur, it would be the most fearsome explosion that any of us would have experienced, potentially being up to 1,000 times more powerful than the atomic bomb that devastated Hiroshima. Gas, ash, magma and rock would be flung all the way up to Earth's stratosphere within seconds. The shockwave from this explosion will be unimaginable, producing some of the loudest sounds ever recorded being audible many thousands of miles away. The shockwaves would travel at the speed of sound, potentially rounding the globe multiple times. The superheated rocks and hash flung into the atmosphere would then fall back onto the Earth as hundreds of thousands of dangerous volcanic bombs, annihilating the surrounding areas. The areas near the blast site will be obliterated almost instantly with devastating pyroclastic flows exceeding temperatures of 700 degrees Celsius, racing along at a speed of over 100 kilometers per hour and wiping out everything in its path. Unfortunately, this would just be the start of the damage with the worst still yet to come. Over the subsequent minutes and hours, clouds of ash and toxic gas would spread over a huge area of thousands of kilometers, shrouding the surrounding areas in darkness. Some experts even think that the material ejected from the volcano may be carried by the wind across the entirety of the continental United States. Hot ash will fall from the sky like snow and disrupt communication lines and travel infrastructure, while also ruining many thousands of acres of farmland across the country. Very soon after the blast, large parts of the US might be rendered completely uninhabitable. Some scientists project that the initial blast and pyroclastic flows might kill hundreds of thousands, while potentially millions could suffocate due to clouds of ash and toxic material that engulf huge areas. If you're thinking you might be safe because you live on the other side of the world, think again. A super explosion of Yellowstone would eject so much material into the Earth's atmosphere that the planet's ecosystem and climate would be severely impacted for many years to come. We now know that previous supervolcano eruptions have triggered major global cooling episodes, leading to what is called a volcanic winter, where temperatures plummet across the planet, leading to the collapse of entire food chains and potentially to a prolonged famine. Bear in mind that we still have not even discussed the second order consequences such as the collapse of the global economy and supply chains, which would undoubtedly wreak havoc in the interconnected world we live in, leading to a breakdown of social order and causing tremendous suffering. While humanity would likely avoid a complete extinction, civilization could potentially be set back by hundreds or even thousands of years. I am sure the question on your minds now is how likely is such a super eruption? Well, to get an answer to that question, we need to investigate the history of Yellowstone to deduce the frequency with which such eruptions occur. We now know that eruptions of the scale we are talking about have occurred three times in Yellowstone's history. 
2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 640,000 years ago. That means that there has been a massive eruption every 700,000 years on average, which is not good news for us, because it means that we might be due one soon. However, before you have a nervous breakdown or a panic attack, just know that the numbers are still very much in our favour. The probability of a super explosion in our lifetime, or even for the next 1,000 years, is quite minimal. Many experts do not think that the recent hydrothermal explosions at Yellowstone are an indicator that a volcanic eruption is brewing. Most volcanologists believe that before a super explosion, there will be plenty of clues and signs of impending doom. Some think that there could even be decades of warning signs before the volcano blows, including multiple large earthquakes, a change in the chemicals in the hot springs, and potentially even the ground bulging and shifting tens of feet, none of which is happening in Yellowstone at the minute. However, Mother Nature has shown us time and again just how unpredictable she can be. And what's worrying is that the recent pandemic demonstrated just how unprepared modern society is to deal with the challenges that nature can throw at us. That is why Yellowstone continues to give many people sleepless nights, with its outer beauty concealing a ticking time bomb. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like, and if you want to learn more about such unique places and phenomena, subscribe to the channel. We will continue bringing you stories and ideas that blow your mind, as the truth, as they say, is stranger than fiction.